So we got the sister on the screen here, and she's going to say that men will have to settle for women with high body counts. And in saying that, it reveals something, that modern day black women only think that men care about what they got between their thighs. Let's get to this video. I'm going to be real with y'all, and y'all not going to like this, but a lot of y'all dudes are going to have to settle for girls with high body counts. The days when you can find a woman with a body count less than five are few far in between. They may be girls from college, girls from high school, girls from your job maybe a OnlyFans model or Instagram model. And when the word gets out that you dating her and that you may wife her, you're gonna get a lot of DMs saying this you and it's gonna be her in a compromising position doing something that she did five, 10 years ago. Especially the sorority girls. Y'all gotta talk to me about that because the sorority, the sorority girlies wanna be careful about them. And don't be shocked that when during your vows, when the pastor say, speak now forever, hold your peace, like 10 dudes flying behind her. I still love you. I still love you because all of them so tired. So this black chick right here, y'all, the queen of the damn. She said so much right now in her video, but it's all true. Finding that woman with a low body count is goddamn next to impossible. And dealing with these modern day women with these high body counts, you run the risk of catching these STDs, some of which cannot be treated with medical treatment. Look at the next video because some STDs are on the rise. Health officials say with STD rates rising to record levels, more tools are needed. There's a new morning after CDC guidance to help curb the spread of sexually transmitted infections. And joining us this morning to talk more about this is Dr. Pradeep Kumar of Austin Gastroenterology. Thanks so much for joining us, doctor. Good morning, Leslie. Good to see you. Yeah, so tell us more about the CDC guidances. What does this mean? What's the morning after? How, and also why are the numbers rising? Yeah, I know, interesting. I'm not exactly sure why the numbers are rising. It'll probably, you know, clearly, uh, the answer would be, you know, more exposure. You right. know, there's just more exposure to sexually transmitted diseases, safe practices that we've, uh, we've known about for a generation at least, two generations are, are being less used, meaning using protected, protected sex. Mm -hmm. um, it's happening less and less. And so, and as soon as it starts rising in the community, it's easier to spread. And so we're seeing record levels in the last 10 years of all these, the different sexually transmitted diseases, we're seeing a rise in all of them and in all groups, particularly young people, uh, gay, uh, bisexual, transgender uh, women. And so these are the people in which we're seeing a marked rise in it. And because when it rises, it spreads as well. It's like any other infection. Uh, the CDC is, is thought to use what they call PEP or post-exposure prophylaxis. And this is out-of-the-box thinking, which is that for those groups that I just said, you know, gay, bisexual, transgender women, uh, that if they have unprotected sex, that within three days they should take an antibiotic, doxycycline, 200 milligrams, mm -hmm. uh, and that can reduce the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. It's been shown in Europe, and they want to implement it here in the United States. Y'all just heard it from the doctor himself. The CDC is noticing an increase in the rates of infections amongst all people in the USA. Straights, gays, lesbian, LGBTQs, transformers, everybody is practicing unsafe sex and being irresponsible and reckless with their genitalia. And like how this is said earlier in the video presentation, finding a woman with a low body count is going to be next to impossible, which means that brothers are going to have to settle for women who have put themselves at risk of contracting all types of different STDs, some of which will not be able to be cured by modern day medicines. So you can stay in the USA and you can get down with the sexy reds. You can beat them hoes up. You can skeet them hoes up. They can take them hoes to Pound Town if you wants to. Hell, you can invite your homeboy over and have a gangbang train session if he wants to. But when I consider these high body counts and these risks of contracting STDs, I know exactly what I would do. But I'm gonna let the homeboy NGE tell y'all exactly what to do. Get your passport and kiss my black ass, yeah. America. Yeah.